I just can't get off this game. Honestly, I just keep playing it and playing it and playing it. I put so many hours into this game and I've still got so much to do. Um, it's truly remarkable. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Keep the likes and support coming. We're about to upgrade or update our gun arsenal. Sorry, my doorbell just went there, annoyingly. All right, so it's a gun, a pistol that I really like the look of. This one, a semi-automatic pistol, two hundred and ten dollars. Right it's got a crazy fire rate. The damage isn't exactly unreal, such, but the fire rate is impressive, very impressive. So I'm gonna buy it. Also, oh wow, look at that! Mm. That is good. A long barrel for twelve dollars. Uh, this improves the axe, sorry, the range, which I've also improved. Iron sight. I have some better quality components. There we go. If you're looking for the best. Look at that. You that made is a good, good looking gun. So I see the gun does lack a little bit of damage, but if I increase the damage with express rounds. Oh, you don't mess around. Uh, yeah, yeah, that could be pretty good. Do you have enough ammunition <laughs> That could be for pretty good thing? indeed. Um, what about a shotgun? There's one I've seen. This one's still locked. I do also want that pistol at some point. Um, but I have seen a shotgun. A semi-auto shotgun. I believe it's actually unlocked recently. And I want to buy it. There it is. Again, the damage isn't great, but the fire rate is better. Um, I'm going to give it a That's go. I've got around here. a fair amount of money right now. So I'll give it a go. Oh, wow. It really suits you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the barrel. I could fit some different if I can make it better. Could make it more comfortable I'm down for that. Shoulder. Yes. Yes, yeah, so there's a merry mission. I'm going to skip past that for now. We're going to focus on the main missions. There's a Dutch mission nearby. I'm going to quickly find where it is. It's a question mark, but it's all based on American fathers. I think it's more political, more than anything. Careful. Don't ring that bell at me, sir. I wonder if I can go on that train. I'm, I'm guessing I probably can. Where's Dutch? Let's find him. Excuse me. I am here to help. Hey, do I know you? Mr... I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. 
Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right. I guess we can help them out. For money, of course. For money. Always for money. And there she is. Do you need some help? How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> If you more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say, Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, my. <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Fiscal Boys are coming! Oh, really? Ah. What? That is gross! There was a mention of Kieran going missing after the party. But I don't think that happened. Is it your Driscoll's? Might be. Ah, damn it. Women and children inside! Rescue you! Hold your ground! I have to go downstairs. Yeah, All right, let's go. New pistol. Get down there. Right, go, go, go. Damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. Again? Get upstairs. Be safer up there. Guys, it's been a plate to my life. Stay away from the window. Is that the right terminology? I don't know. Where are we going? He's basically annoying, alright? Come on, quick. Get inside. That's a decent cover. Hold the station. Just hear it. At the moment, let's try and keep it there. Get so down off them. Like oh, 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 oh. So many of them. Absolute nuisance. Oh no. Yep, I see it. I have something a little bit more explosive. Fall back to the house. 
if, oh man, really? What, right now? Eat that! Oh, ho, ho, that might have worked. <laughs> Right, let's keep the pistol out. I'm blocking, I'm blocking it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Push it. There we go. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. I call it. There must be dust. Ooh. Everyone a Oh, Arthur Morgan is on fire right now. I think. Hey. I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Apart from Kieran, I reckon. <laughs> Annoyingly. I like Kieran. Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me. Where is she? Trap for the window. Or oh, screw for the door. That's fine. Where is she? Sadie. What the hell? I think she's fine. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, she's absolutely fine. Wow. Sadie. Get any help. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. Wow. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, we don't. Get in the house. I'm gonna work. I guarantee that. A boat. I can't even buy a boat as well. Nice. Yeah, let's see him. This guy's swimming. They need us in the house, Morgan. Oh, I said that all along. Why do they always wear those masks? Weird bits of fabric over their head. Damon's gone all off. A little bit wavy. Time for the uh, the dual wielding pistols. I'm watching myself. It's fine. Shoot up. Camp. How did he even find us? Perhaps Kieran actually. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Wow, Charlie, hello. Woohoohoo! I love these pistols. You okay? Come on! So far, I've killed most yet. A few more left. I'm shooting when they're escaping. Woo! And the back. He's down. Idiot. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> How many bodies are in that swamp? Starting to rack up. So how do we take down... He saved my life and I could school. not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She 
is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Yeah, she is one powerful woman. She can easily keep her own. 100%. Oh, look, I got a bronze again. Yay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, shoot the Adriscals in the boat before they disembark. Oh, I think I'm pretty sure I almost done that. Completely, complete only using sidearms. Complete with an accuracy of 70% and get 15 headshots. Damn it. I didn't take any health items, so I guess that was a plus. Watch your damn self. All right, where's Dutch? And Where's what's his plan? This game just constantly surprises me. Like, obviously, it's quite a slow-paced game, but all of a sudden, it just kicks off. And you're like, you got to be ready. Got to be ready. All right, where's Dutch? Okay. I was expecting just to find him straight away. But clearly, I was wrong. Is he inside somewhere? I can't see. It's just dust everywhere. It must be inside, or around the back or something. Dutch, where are you? I can hear his voice. I think. I heard a voice anyway. There he is. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies, this is right now. This is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. All right, I'm money. gonna rob you. Hey, Give me the money. Take whatever let my acquaintance inside. Thank you very much. I said and over the all your money. Let my acquaintance. Quick. Of course, yes. just of course. There's one more to go. The law will turn up in a matter of seconds, I guarantee it. Okay. The law yeah, is coming. There's nothing much here. Quick. What? Okay. There's nothing really I'm here. Sure. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Has he got a weapon? Oh no, it's keys. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Yeah, well, I see the safe. I don't think they keep much cash oh, in there. Oh, we've been tricked! Open it. There's a little bit in there, but not really much. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down. We got you surrounded. This is a trap, surely. Son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Oh, what are we doing? Alright, shoot us some space, boys. Look out on the right. Yep, I see him. Watch those side alleys are so dark. The dark smokes. Smoking. Someone about me too. Dusty. Broad day is kind of out of this. 
He tricks Someone us. We're now wanted, dead or alive. Lovely. Ow. be right. Anybody here? Nah, how lucky was you? Oh, oh, damn. We are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. Going a little bit too quick. Uh it's broken. The thing's broke. Hold on! That's how he landed. Dutch. What is going on right now? Well, what guns do we have? Uh, just pistols. Great. Can you guys hurry up, please? We really do with some assistance right now. Watch out! Got someone about me here! Yep, they're coming. They're still coming! They're not gonna stop! All this for like pennies! Completely tricked. This is our Why does Dutch keep falling for it? How does he still have people following him as well? So, where are we going? Go. Run, run, run. I'm gonna have bullets. Go. Oh, shoot. Really? I must have bullets. Alright, Dick. I won't bother. I ain't got another one. I'm in better, son. Lenny, keep it out. Oh. Stay in here, too. We can't let them follow us. This way. Onto the street. Keep moving. Give me a break, man. They blocked the road. You gotta move, boss. Stay with me. I see you, Jason. No. We'll wake up after we get the hell out of here. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, boss, let's move. Ah. Lenny, get out of my way. Why are these shots not working? Uh, sometimes they just don't hit. Whoop! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not seeing him. All this for a couple of dollars. What is the point? Let's move up, Dutch. You take man. Time for my new pistol. I think. Ooh, good start. I have my fancy ass pistol. Where are we going? What's the plan exactly? Taking that wagon just in front of us. That go, 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 go. God, this pistol is good. Go, 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 go. Banged his head. Oh, poor Dutch. Wake up. Looks like they ain't 
crazy idea. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. Ooh, trying to hit. Oh. Ho, ho. I got four holes instead of two holes in his head. Whoops. Arthur Morgan. Shoot. No doubt about that. Now this town is now in lockdown as well. I mean, we are quite incredibly amazing. It's, it's quite amazing. Come on, Lenny. I think mean, that's the last of them. The law is down. Damn! They blocked the road! Oh. Who's this? What? Oh. That could work. Ooh, there we go! Got a bounty of $165. So now when we do Dead Eye, I can just keep firing. I don't actually have to tag them, which is quite cool. Continuous Dead Eye. What was that? It was like an armadillo or something. Just run them straight over. Whew. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, and we each got... $15. <laughs> oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. That is true. 46. I've got a gold. Well, I'll be damned. Wow, look at me. Nice, not got a gold for a while. Uh, the gang got nothing from that. $15 for that. I'm a little bit worried about this mission because I don't feel like Arthur's um, a sort of thief or such. He's not a good stealth operative. <laughs> he just, he's more of a, a gunslinger, of course. But if we can help, I will try my best. This man, all right. fortune. Maybe earn your fortune. Okay, Maybe what is it? Is the beginning of the end. Give one dollar. I guess I can do that. Help a blind man. You're probably not blind. I'm probably being tricked, but there you go. have this. A dollar bill. A whole life, sir. You have followed the wrong star. Well, okay then. Thanks. Thank you, I guess. Is he talking about Dutch? Hey there, girl. I guess we never know. I'm sure you've got better things to do than follow a lane. Yeah. Well, you got one dollar out of it. I've been following the wrong star. Cryptic. Very cryptic. 
man. Ah, that's eagle flies. I was like, who is that? <laughs> now I know. Right, I'm here to help. You came. I did. Of course I came. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Is that a wagon? If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Guess I'll give it a go. And we're in. Oh, please work. When I check the contents of the rear, and I'm just sitting there. <laughs> Hello. I'm worried about this mission. It might take me a few attempts. I don't, I just don't like being stealthy. Oh, like I just screw up in this game. As good as the game, the gameplay is. Sometimes it can be a little bit awkward with cover and moving around a little bit. He is quite a slow-paced man, which is fine. He's not quick. He's not Spider-Man, for example. I'm not feeling this right now. I'm not feeling it. The Cornwall gang, not gang, but the Cornwalls again. They just keep cropping up again. So it's in that big factory. We know roughly where it is. Hopefully, it gets us nice and close. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up. Yep. We're supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Oh, that was close. He was all looking, and I was concerned. He's about to keep creep around the back. Have we been here before? Oh god. <laughs> when we uh, when we stole uh, stole that oil wagon. So right. now. I'm gonna start loading up. Yeah. All right, as expected, I screwed up first time. <laughs> I'm now gonna give it another go. <laughs> uh, I knew I would. So I tried to go upstairs last time. It didn't really work out. So I'm gonna go downstairs. And then look for some more stairs. Uh, what I might do is equip my throwing knives. So useful. Now I'll try and find a way to go up. Ooh. Oh, my bounty's gone low. What a shame. Stay stealthy. There's stairs back there. Gotta hope no one finds this body. Keep it moving. There's a guy right there. Jesus. If he turns around, he's gonna see the dead body. God, I hate this. I hate being stealthy. Don't mind me. There's a guy up there. Should be about to sneak past. So it seems like we know where to go. It's that room with the light in. With the light above it. Above the door. It says office. Give me, sir, the documents, and I will be out of your hands in seconds. Hello. Uh, you must be Danbury. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Time to interrogate. Come here. Danbury. Yes? I need some papers. My 
friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? I am. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Please? Come on. Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. He does not want to do it, does he? Come on. No. It's here. It's here. Okay, he's got it. He's worked it out. <laughs> he's been convinced. Be honest, one punch for me. I'm like, yep. Yeah. Cheers. I'm done. You're done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. 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 You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Escape through the window. Alright, sounds like a plan. They might have seen the f dead body, perhaps. That's why they're asking. Hey, 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 hold it right there! Oh, Arthur. Hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Whoa! Hello. That helps. We've got to shoot our way out of here. Very, very quick. Let's try this new eagle eye out. Ooh, that's good. So does it just keep going? It does. Damn, they disappeared. Lucky. Right, time to take a run for it. Let's go. See you later, guys. Oh, nice headshot. Keep going, keep going. Oh, he's still alive. I'm coming, I'm coming. Got him. Got you. One more guy left. Oh man, this dead eye is awesome. Do one anyway. Help him. Shoot the guy in front of you. There we go. Sorry, Holston, didn't shoot you. Over here. Well, time. You need to get the dark yeah, need to get the out of here. Follow me. Very, very quickly. <laughs> He's done it again. Half a Morgan. Us. Done it again. It's time for my revolver. A bow. Get a gun. More penetration. <laughs> Slightly more powerful. Did you shoot me? Oh, I love this dead right now. We need to lose them. I don't see any more of them. Keep going. That explosion. Came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Correct. Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. I was almost thinking perhaps he was gonna get the money back. He sort of went to do it, and then he was like, no, okay, I'll keep it. Oh, accuracy was still a pain in the butt, apparently. I feel like I hit most of my shots. Mm. Oh, well. There we go. So guys, that will conclude this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I will see you soon. Looks like we've got another Dutch mission, which has just popped up on the map. And bye-byes.